The broadband initiative is getting students access to their homes, you know, in people that can't afford it or and or otherwise that just don't have internet access available to them. And a part of our initiative was to get that rolling. And I basically helped out with the network, setting up the network and getting it to basically the access point area. Jeff and I really worked uh, hand in hand on um, the backhaul runs basically to the NEO um, wireless solution that we worked with. So uh, we made sure the APs had fiber um, access and uh, were able to get through um, our fiber throughout the area between our buildings and um, back out to the network resources that they need. Any individual thought about their own access to the internet at the home, how many devices they have access to, what they have for wireless, whatever that might be, to think about students that go home that don't have access to the internet and that, what that would mean to them from both a personal and an educational environment. Broadband is all about, regardless of social and economic status or location within the community, every student deserves to have broadband in their household and the initiative was for us to help provide that. The network that we're providing now is for about 1,500 families over 3,000 homes in the community. So it doesn't cover everybody currently, but it does cover a good majority of the downtown area. Um, as we continue to build out the network, it will connect all areas of the community as well as all families and all students throughout the, the community. We've been lucky enough to get grant funds to do the initial financing of it. Um, part of the CARES Act were dollars that the governor was able to grant out, which was our first initial large finance component to, to move the project forward. So now we, I think this opportunity, setting up the proof of concept, um, hopefully will give us some more credibility and some more reach on other dollars that might be available for us in the near future. I think it's innovative and new because since the one-to-one -one initiative with the Chromebooks and each student having a device, I mean, you have to have network access to be able to do your work, like students doing the work, training um, assignments and stuff like that. So that, to me, is necessary because, I mean, if you don't have internet access, I mean, it's basically like writing paper and pencil, turn it in, but it gives them more instant, you know, and more connection, and especially during the COVID era. This isn't just for poverty students. This is for all students. And again, I mentioned before, if you can imagine going home and not being able to ask Google a question, put that in an educational sense. And we have families that go home, students that go home that can't ask Google a question. What does that do from your personal life? What does it do from your, pref your professional life? How, the, how do you think that impacts these students? So it's our responsibility, I feel, to make sure that all students, no matter where they're at, geographical location, socioeconomic status, they have access to the internet. My name is Jeff Williamson. My name is Keith Belzowski. My name is Kevin McGuire. And we are Northwest Indiana Innovators.